Hey guys, this is B2Boys10 here, back with a new video. Now today I want to talk about an item I recently got that I've been really excited to obtain. As you guys know, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. Um, fun fact, I even wanted to make a Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play, but because of personal issues, I it kind of ruined my mojo and kind of ruined my good mood that I had to play the game. So I was just playing the game like completely all mopey and sad, and that wasn't that wouldn't have been a good let's play to do. So I scrapped that entire series. But I st still have Kingdom Hearts 3 and I have all the Kingdom Hearts games, even the game Game Boy Advanced version of Chain of Memories. And I've played Kingdom Hearts for over six years, I guess I could say. I have a bunch of merchandise for it. I have Funko Pops, I have figurines, I have plushies, I have action figures. I have all that good stuff. Now, now when I bought Kingdom Hearts 3, it came with a deluxe edition, and I pre-ordered the game, so I also got a poster. But just recently... I just got the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, if you love Japanese things, and you love getting things that are from a different country, then you will be entire, uh, incredibly interested by this video. Um, as I was when I first got this. Now, in the American Kingdom Hearts 3, in the inside, there is a bunch of words regarding warranties and warnings about seizures and stuff like that. However, in the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 3, there is a cool Kingdom Hearts design that looks at, that's all like a shield with a crown on the top, which I think is really cool. But inside the American Kingdom Hearts 3, there is a paper about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross there is an advertisement for World of Final Fantasy Maxima, and there is a project registration code. However, in the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 3, there is a software manual that talks about the controls, as well as gives a couple pictures of the actual gameplay. There is a Kingdom Hearts booklet that talks about Kingdom Hearts merchandise, which I think is really awesome. I kind of want some of the merchandise that it's showing. And it also comes with a Square Enix registration. However, this Square Enix registration is much bigger and higher. Now, what's also interesting is that the back of the Kingdom Hearts 3 cases are completely different. In the American version, on the top, there is Sora, Donald, and Goofy doing a pose, looking outwards, with eight pictures of the gameplay. In the Japanese version, there is... CGI Sora looking off into the distance with three pictures of gameplay. And you can clearly and you can clearly see that the bottom itself is also different. For the American it says 50 gigabytes minimum, but for the Japanese it says 40 gigabytes, which I think is really interesting and I don't know why that's the case. The structures of the bottom is completely different too. Like the logos, uh, the Mercuna and the Unreal Engine have uh, are much bigger and represented than the one in the English version where every single one is small. Which I think I think is pretty cool. Um, and th the words on the Japanese version are really, really small. I mean, they're, they're in English, but they're really, really small and it's harder to see than in the English version. However, the English version, the words take up a large amount of the bottom. So, I think it's cool that they decided to make the words smaller for the Japanese, because usually Japanese words are much larger. Now the, now, the front is pretty much the same. The only thing that is different is the writing and the logo. The rest are completely the same. Now, fun fact, the rating system for Japanese are completely different. A is for all ages, B is for 12-year-olds and above, C is for 15 year olds and above, D is for 17 year olds and above, and Z is for 18 year olds and above. So pretty much, it's kind of this, it's kind of very similar to the American version, only with different words. 
and there's a Z instead of, you know, M. Because ours is very, very s simple. Like, E is E for everyone, E10 is 10 and up, T for teen, M for mature. But for them, it's completely different. Which, uh, that's, uh, which I thought was really interesting once I figured that out. But the front of the cover pretty much has the rating system, and on the top, it, sa it still says Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, what I've noticed is that the Japanese version has Kingdom Hearts 3 bigger and clearer. I don't know if uh, the camera will be able to notice that, or if you guys will be able to notice that, but I definitely notice that. Um, you can, uh, you can uh, make it obvious by the tower on the left, where the Japanese version is taking up more of it. And there is Japanese words on the bottom of Kingdom Hearts 3, but I think that just s says Kingdom Hearts 3. Which I think is really cool. Plus, when you play the actual Kingdom Hearts 3, it's kind of the sa very similar to the American version. However, the real difference is that the X and the circle buttons are switched. Now, what I do is go into the accessibility ver part of the PlayStation 4 and changing the button assignments so that X is circle and circle is X. It's, confus it's confusing when I'm on the menu of the PlayStation, but when I'm in the game, it's more natural for me because I'm used to the X in the circle being like they are in the American version. And that's pretty much it for the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts. The rest of the game is pretty much the exact same, just in Japanese. Um, uh, the problem that I have is that I wanted to play the DLCs in Japanese, however, I'd have to rebuy the DLCs in a Japanese account, which really sucks because the Japanese, because the Japanese currency is different, and I'm gonna have to go through all that. And not only that, but also pay like 30 bucks for the DLC plus the extra Keyblades that I had, which I'm probably not gonna do anytime soon, but it's worth noting. Just in case anybody else wants a Japanese version of a game and has DLCs for it. <clears throat> just to let you know, you can't play the DLCs because you have to rebuy them in the Japanese version. Alright. Well. And one last thing. The side covers of the Kingdom Hearts is di a little different as well. The one in the American version is all black with Disney, Square Enix, and Kingdom Hearts 3. And the Japanese version is just Kingdom Hearts 3, in a white background, with black text. Which, you know, is not really that big of a deal, and that huge of a deal, but it's still, you know, different to where it, throw, it threw me off when I first got it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I just wanted to showcase and technically unbox the Kingdom Hearts 3 Japanese version to show you guys the differences. Um, it's really interesting to see how different they are from each other, um, despite it being the exact same game. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. If you need to this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope this cheered you up in some way. And yeah, see you tomorrow.